Hey guys, welcome to part two of my photo card collection. This is going to be my female artists and then my other artists. So they're not like my top top bias groups and they're kind of like the groups that I'm not going to be collecting all the photo cards for. So I'm going to get started with the female groups as this binder is the smallest. Ugh. Okay, so I just made a simple cover and I just am starting to add the logos of the artists that are in here. So this cover will change as I get new artists. Um, so yeah, let's get right into it. I will leave in the description what supplies I use. So, but I do use mainly Ultra Pro. So this is going to be my four minute. I am going to be getting rid of these, like I said, only because I started cataloging. I found an app that will let me catalog it. But and then, it's Hannah's I got from their volume up. I haven't made covers for these. I'm still going to have just a cover so I know what set the photo cards belong to. But, and then I decided to put all of my four minute star cards in here. No need to give them their own separate binder, but here they all are in order. Put them all together from the unboxing. Oh, and these are, from what I can tell, authentic signatures. I think they actually signed these because they only signed those ones. The rest are just plain backs. And I actually sadly do not have a complete set because when I went through it all, I ended up getting two of one card, which means I ended up missing and missing one card. As you can see, here's my duplicate card, and I'm missing one of Hyuna's for 59, it looks like. So I'll have to either trade that one or find it. And here's just my checks of the albums I own. And AOA. Photo cards on the back. I really, really do like these ones. They're Red Motion photo cards. I think they're my favorite. And this is all I have so far for female groups. for my other binder. I haven't figured out what I want to pick yet for a cover, which is why this one's just plain on top. So this is my winner. I haven't really worked on winner too, too much. I haven't decided if I'm going to collect them all or if I'm just going to collect Minho, who's my bias. But I did have it started to set it up their exit E album <laughs> to collect them all, which is why there's all this space. And these ones are from the newest one, the Win Winster, I believe it was called, version. And then I kept all the film strips. So I'm going to have it be like all three of Minho's versions of the film strips and so on for all the members. And then here's my kind of transparent Minho from their winter collection. We've got seven. Then like 
on my other ones I did put little pictures of what the other cards are gonna look like I kind of stopped doing it because it was a little time-consuming especially for uh, groups that aren't as popular or you know some of them are just hard to find pictures of And I'm almost done collecting all of these cards. I did just cut the stickers off the plastic and just pull, put them in here. So you're missing one of JB's, it looks like. Some of you games. Looks like that would be it. And then I got a cross jean. Need to work on this one a little bit, but I got two photo cards from their game because I got a signed one and then the normal version. And then I put the um, little Polaroid that I won from their meet and greet. So I got Casper on the other one. Then my two timeless, I ended up buying um, Sungmin's. And then my history. So these are all from the history loss. This one's from their um, special versioned one. And this is from their Beyond the History album. I'm only missing okay, two of these photo cards, so I'm just missing those two. These ones have kind of been the hardest for me to find, the history photo cards. I haven't been able to find the lost ones anywhere, but then we have Monster X. I haven't gotten their first album yet. And I don't have their other one. I mean, I bought their secret one, which is how I got this photo card. But it wasn't signed by my bias I am. So I'm probably going to end up selling it. And then, and flying. Hope tension. I haven't gotten any of these yet, just the ones I've gotten in my albums. I've gotten him both times, that's just funny. But I always like to keep empty spaces in here, just to kind of remind me and so I can see kind of how everything will lay out once I do have the full set. And it also kind of lets me see if I need to start moving things like separating groups out into binders because I don't like them to get too too thick only because it kind of starts to buckle in areas especially if all the sleeves you use aren't the same size like if some of them like cut shorter like the GOT7 ones I had they kind of start to the weight of other things will just start to kind of fold to fill in the space and then Black B. And I still gotta get the two other versions. I'm gonna get one of the versions. The Bass Star signed, probably P.O.'s. Cause he's one of my biases. And I think they just came out with an album too. I know they just released a music video, but I haven't actually seen an album album. So this is like the section that's going to have all the groups that I'm probably not going to be collecting everything of. I'll probably just get the photo card I get and just keep it. Or if like, you know, I really have a bias for the group, I'll trade it, but photo cards are on the back.
Now it kind of gets a little complicated back here. Um, so this is actually the Legends um, newest one. Uh, I got the meet and greet Polaroid. So I just slid it in the front. And then I just noticed that the Urban and Chic versions for the Red Point album are different. And I only noticed that because I got two of Calf and they're both different. And then this is the newest album, Q Is. I haven't made a cover thing for it yet. Same for this one. But I'm just going to start leaving them like this instead of making little check boxes. And then I ended up doing a trade to get my other tainments, and I have all four. And then my high four photo cards. And then just some other ones that I have. And then I put the um, infinite star card covers here together because one of them, the volume two, comes with these little stands. Love these cards. Oh, that's kind of like that metal effect. Then here's the 17 cards. So when I get the black ones, I'll probably just put the black on the other side. So it'll be the white and then the black. when they're 17 carats so you can tell from the top and these are just some beast um, photos that I'm getting then back here are just some extra covers if I decide to collect them all like Teen Top 17 and AOA And that is it for these two binders. These are always a constant work in progress. But I hope you guys enjoyed seeing kind of how I put everything together. If you have any questions, like I said, just let me know in the comments. I'd be happy to answer any questions that you might have. I like and subscribe until the next video. Bye guys.